What's up, Hander Rhodes? This is Ethan from hrgeeks.com here with some new computer tips for you. For anyone looking to record audio and speech on your home computer, there's a free application called Audacity, which is, which is great. It allows you to edit, cut, copy, paste, um, apply effects, and multi-track record right on your home computer. And the best part about it is it's 100% free. You can download it for free, and then you can download a plugin pack as well as the MP3 encoder portion and you're pretty much set and it rivals some of the more expensive older software such as SoundForge. It's available for Windows, Mac OS X, as well as Linux, BSD, and all the uh, Unix operating systems. I'm going to show three specific applications for this, the first being multi-track music recording, the second being live audio capturing for say uh, podcasting or, or speeches, and the third being recording other applications on your computer. Audacity allows you to multi-track record where you record each instrument to a, another separate channel. This way you can edit down the final into a clean mix. You can use a standard PC sound card. There are higher quality sound cards out there on the market. Um, you know, it's probably best to get started with your standard PC and perhaps upgrade later. It does allow you to use sound cards that have eight more inputs and outputs. Uh, it's very flexible. The first thing you want to do is visit the control panel mixer for your sound card and adjust some settings. You particularly want to go to the recording settings and pay attention to what input is selected. The line input is generally what you want to use unless you're using a microphone directly connected to the PC. Um, there's a special option called stereo mix or wave. We'll get to that later. Go to edit preferences and make sure you have the correct sound card devices chosen for both recording and playback. I also have a playback when recording for multi-track recording so that you can hear the other tracks. Audacity can generate a metronome track and there's a lot of advanced plugins for uh, changing all sorts of sound parameters that you really have to experiment with to get the, the hang of. You want to record your track so that it isn't too loud or too soft. If it's too loud you'll get distortion, if it's too soft you'll get hiss. And lastly, you'll, you will want to experiment quite heavily to get the feel of it. There's a, a lot of options and a lot of plugins. Some work better than others. Audacity works great for recording the audio from live speeches and presentations. Basically, you can connect the output from a front of house mixer into the computer so that you can record it in a large venue or in a smaller venue you can connect a microphone or wireless mic system into a laptop computer and record it there. I've had good luck using audio compressors that uh, basically normalize the volume. However, if you use this too much, you may run into problems post-processing the audio later because there's not enough room to get rid of hiss or boost the audio anymore. Once you've captured the audio, you want to cut out silence as well as other audience noises, and then you can save it for WAVE for CD publishing or MP3 for internet publishing. Lastly is loopback recording. This is where you record the audio from other applications running on the computer. First thing you want to do is visit control panel, select the WAVE output, or select the stereo mixer in the recording preferences. After you've done this, if you launch an application that's playing audio and then go back to Audacity and record, you should be capturing the audio from the other application in Audacity. From that point, you can do whatever it is you need to do from there. That's it for this segment. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for future segments, you can email me at ethan at hrgeeks.com and I'll try to respond uh, as time permits. There's also a web form at hrgeeks.com. Feel free to post any questions and you might be able to get help from myself or some of my friends. Thanks for watching.